Hey, how's it going, guys? You look amazing today, and you are amazing. And welcome to Student Pilot TV number twelve. <laughs> So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, also subscribe so you never miss a tip on getting into aviation. And today per request, I'm talking about how to apply for fly school, the total hours, what kind of fly school you should choose when, you, when you're looking for one. And again, this is based on my personal experience and some research on the internet. So my personal experience is I have researched online and I wrote email to the fly schools in the US. And but then I found associations like aviation association in my own country so I apply for flight school right now I'm in through an agent if you have agency in your country you can do that also because I think they can help you but you can also do this on your own and I signed a contract about how many hours I will get and the hourly rate of the aircraft and the instructor but if you don't go through an agency you can do the things I talk about now the first thing I would do is go online search in your area or place you want to do your training at look up their website and see which flight school have the program that you want or you need and it is worth going to so you make a list of school that you probably will go and there's different type of flight schools like university with flight training program or just flight training so if you are just graduating from high school I would say go to university that study aviation and flight training together if you already have your bachelor's or associates then you might can just go to schools that just for only flight training so now what kind of school is considered as good school and I've learned something in this while I go to a flight school so I will say you need to check on how many instructors the school have how many aircraft the school have and if you're an international student check if the school can give you visas instructors are important because if there's not enough instructor then nobody can teach you and the aircraft how many aircraft do they have because if there's a lot of students then there's no aircraft available for you to fly it's a problem as well so these two are very important i guess other factors you consider to choose a flight school is what programs they have because you need to meet your country's airline requirement multi-engine single engine commercial normally most flight schools have that and also what type of flight school like part 161 or 141 if you're studying in us i don't know about europe or australia but if you're in US and your airline require part 141, then you need to choose the school that is part 141. So now you got all those things sorted and you can start write email or call the school or just visit the school locally. Personally, if you go visit the school, it is the best option. But if you're overseas, then maybe email is the best and just ask them about anything you want about the program the cost the aircraft the instructor the weather things like that oh another important thing is you can look at the reviews online about the fly school i think the reviews are very important now you have come down to one fly school that you really want to go so you ask for a school application like is it a contract or you pay one at a time like how to apply for that school that i mean if you ask them the school will give you maybe some form to fill out if you're signing a contract they give you like hourly rate of the aircraft how many hours you will get and how much you pay the instructor hourly fee things like that so it's all in the contract so you need to make sure you read every page carefully so now you have enrolled applied for the flight school how long does it take to finish your training if you are in university like Embry-Riddle, UND like to get a bachelor while training that is same four years I guess but if you're in like just flight training school for just getting licensed then normally people say it's about one year but it really really depends on the weather the aircraft availability your instructor can your instructor have schedule for you every day or three times a week one times a week if you only have one lesson a week then that is like it can take you forever so that's why instructors are very important factor in the training so normally it's a year but it can take up to two years so it really really depends 
depends. And everyone is different, so there's no exact time. To sum up, I would say go online, write them email, call them, visit them, find a one that meets your requirement and your need, and then apply for it. Start your training. So I hope this video helped a little bit and the more information you have, the better. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you like, please give it a like and also subscribe. And also follow me on my Instagram so you can follow my training journey more. And I will see you and your amazing self next time.